One of the most interesting things about the research for the book were the letters that still exist, including the last letter that Jane wrote before she was executed. She addressed it to her sister Catherine, but she almost certainly intended it to be published worldwide. In it she says, I have sent you, dear Catherine, a book which although it be not outwardly trimmed with gold or the curious embroidery of the artfulest needles, yet inwardly it is more worth than all the precious minds which the vast world can boast of. It is the book, my only best and best beloved sister, of the law of the Lord. It is the testament and last will which he bequeathed unto us wretches and wretched sinners. Jane was a staunch Protestant. She refused to convert to the Catholic faith of her cousin, the new Queen Mary I, and she died because she refused to change. She goes on to tell her sister, If you with a good mind to read it, and with an earnest desire follow it, no doubt it shall bring you to an immortal and everlasting life. It will teach you to live and learn you to die. What she means is that her sister should prepare herself for death because to a Christian like Jane, this life is of no importance. What is important is the heavenly life that is beyond. And when I came to write the novel, it seemed to me a wonderful entry into the difference between the two girls, Jane preparing herself for death and Catherine who was determined to live.